Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and today I've got a book review for you guys and it is for Old Hollow and this is by Jeremy McGargy. Uh This is one of the books that I have been reading or that I've read for the A to Z of Horror Reading Challenge which is something that I started uh, here on a reading challenge I started here on this channel uh, that is going to run or is running through the month of October. All right, so uh, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the plot of the book, and then I will give you my feelings on it. So the plot of the book, um, the chapters are broken up uh, into um, individuals. In other words, what I mean is like, if it is concentrating on uh, the character of Asher, then the, the chapter will be called Asher, and it is told in first person from his point of view. The same thing with the rest of the characters. But we start with Asher, okay? Asher is pretty much the main character in this book. All right, Asher is, he's not so much a hermit, you know, but he's just somebody that likes to kind of live off the grid, uh, live off the land. He's a quiet guy, but every now and then, Asher, and he's not like he's not the kind of person like everybody's like, oh, you better stay away from that guy. He's weird or something like that. He's just he's a loner. Okay, all right. So, but every now and then, Asher has to go down into the town of Old Hollow and pick up supplies, and that means he's got to kind of communicate with the the locals there in Old Hollow. All right, so. One day, as we begin our story, one day Asher has to go into town, except when he goes into town, things are horrifically different. The town, um, there are fires everywhere, there are dead bodies everywhere, and he's like just wondering what the hell is going on with this, all right? So he finds a group of survivors. Uh, that the group of survivors, and I'm trying to remember all their names. In fact, I do have them. There is Mallory. Uh, she's a mother, and she's got a little girl, Kara. There is Luther. Luther is a librarian. I believe he finds them in a library. Anyway, so there is Luther. Luther is about 70 years old, you know, but he's pretty spry, okay? And then you have Vic. I'm not sure what Vic does, but Vic's a little bit on the... Um, I don't know, he's a little bit on the um, the rough side, the rough edge, all right? He's not a bad guy. He's just a little bit rough under the edges, all right? Well, what it turns out is that this uh, group, uh, and I'm not talking about the group that Asher is, has joined up with, but this group of marauders, this group of um, murderers, this group, they're, they're a pack of werewolves. I mean, this is a werewolf novel. What they do is they go into these towns and they have, it's like, I don't know how often it is, but they have what is called the feast. And what they do in the feast is they wipe out this enti an entire town. And that is what they are trying to do to Old Hollow. All right? They've done this before. Uh, one example, or one... Um, one example they talk about is they did this to Roanoke, you know, the lost colony of Roanoke. That's what supposedly happened with Roanoke, is that these marauding werewolves, um, you know, went into that town and just wiped everybody out of it, okay? Um, now, the group of werewolves is led by Andre, or Andre, it's E-N-D-R-E, -E, okay? Andre is ancient, I mean, he is an albino. He is already pretty damn tall to begin with. But then when he becomes the, this white werewolf or this white wolf or whatever, he is massive. Okay? He is the leader. And then you have the twins. Uh, and you have Lizzie. Now, Lizzie is nuts. Lizzie was rescued by Andre from an insane asylum before they were going to give her shock treatment or lobotomize her, okay? And then you have Ray, and then you have Grady. Grady is the Alpha, okay? or I'm sorry, the Omega. Andre is the Alpha. Grady is the Omega, okay? So, it, it comes down to this battle, or not this battle, but this um, war or battle, if you want to call it a battle, you can do that, war or confrontation or whatever, between Asher's group, you know, who are hoping to survive, and Andre's group, who are hoping to devour Asher's group, all right? Uh, I will say one thing about this, is that Asher's group, 
there are actually two occasions, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but there are two occasions where the group gets help from a rather unexpected source. One of them happens kind of in the middle or toward the end of the book. The other one happens a little bit further toward the end of the book. All right. All right, so that is the plot of Old Hollow. All right, now let me give you my thoughts on this. My thoughts on this book on Old Hollow are wow. Okay, that is just it. Uh, he, I have to say, when I read this, I finished with it, I'm just thinking this story over and just thinking how, really, for the first thing I noticed about this, this is a 158-page book, according to the information on my Kindle. And it felt to me like he packed more into this 158 pages that than a lot of people do in 300 or 400 pages, all right? And then I read the afterword, and it's an author afterward, and he, uh, Jeremy McGargy, he talks about how much he's loved werewolves ever since he was a kid, which is the same thing with me. So I just felt this bit of camaraderie right there with the author, just this um, connection, you know, because that's the way I've always been. You know me. You know I'm actually love my werewolves, all right? Unless they're that neutered guy from Twilight. Anyway, uh, yes, I'm sorry, Twilight dig. It's a customary thing for me. Um, but he just said that he wanted to write the best werewolf novel that he could possibly write. And I wrote him and I told him, I said, you know what? I'm going to let you know right now, you nailed it. Because he absolutely did. This was... I mean, there's so much in this. There's the human interest to it. There's the evil, the, the, the remorseless attitude of these werewolves, especially Andre. Um, and there's like a scene in this where they, the, the werewolves have captured this husband and wife and what they do to them, um, especially the wife. I, you know, I mean, the wife, it's, I, you know, it's horrible, but it's quick, so to speak. But with the husband, it's just horrific. I mean, it just gives you, it just shows you just exactly how far these beasts are willing to go to get what they want and to destroy, to absolutely wipe out this town, okay? I mean, yes, he did a masterful job with this novel. I mean, he, like I said, he was worried that he, he that he didn't or he wasn't going to write the perfect werewolf novel. Yeah, he pretty much, he wrote the best werewolf novel, and he absolutely, he nailed it. Now, I'm not saying it is the best werewolf novel. I'm just saying he nailed it with his intentions to write the best one that he could write, and it is absolutely fantastic. So he did. Jeremy, I'm going to say, Ryan, you, you did a great job, man. Awesome job, okay? And I'm, when I say that, I'm speaking to the camera, I'm speaking to him. I don't know Jeremy personally, you know. I know him. I, I wrote him a couple of notes through Instagram. That is how I know him. That is the only way I know him. We're not the best of friends. I'm not giving him a great review because, of, oh, I, you know, we're friends or anything like that. That's not the case, okay? I'm giving him a great review because he wrote a fantastic werewolf novel, all right? So enough gushing because that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, that's my review. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys pick the book up. Give it a read. It, he deserves it. All right. It deserves it. So until next time, guys, thank you and take care and stay scared. Bye-bye.